Are you a Windows 10 user and are you considering upgrading to Windows 11? Maybe you're considering upgrading to Windows 11 because you've seen the screenshots and the videos that Microsoft has put out and you think the Windows 11 desktop is really attractive. If so, I strongly urge you to consider giving Linux a try. Many Linux desktops are absolutely stunning in their beauty, such as the Linux desktop I'm currently showcasing. This is the Deepin Linux distribution. Windows 10 pales in comparison, and even the upcoming Windows 11 doesn't compete with some of the modern Linux desktops. In fact, Windows 11 looks as if it's simply playing catch up to Linux. For example, one of the big things that Windows 11 will introduce is the ability to center the panel and the taskbar. Linux has had this ability for more than two decades. In Deepin, you have the choice of a centered floating panel, or you can right click on the panel and go to mode and choose efficient mode to go back to a more traditional panel which takes up 100% of the width of the bottom of the screen. And you're not limited to having the panel at the bottom of the screen. Right click on the panel and go to location and choose top if you prefer a top panel or left if you prefer a vertical panel on the left of the screen, which makes a lot of sense on modern monitors that are typically much wider than they are tall, thus giving your programs more screen real estate. You probably have noticed that Windows 11 is adding some really nice blurring effects to its menu and its panel. Deepin has had this kind of blurring for years, as well as many other Linux desktops. A buzzword you often hear nowadays is dark mode, which is really just the ability to change your application themes from a light theme to a dark theme. While Windows and Mac are just now addressing this, Linux has allowed its users to set dark themes for nearly 30 years. In Deepin, you simply open the control center and go to personalization and then choose dark. Do you want to change the opacity of the menus and the panel? You can do that as well. Set it to 1.0 for fully opaque or to zero for fully transparent or anywhere in between. Some of the applications themselves have opacity settings that you can adjust, such as the terminal application. The customization options are endless on Linux. Want to change the icon theme? You can do that from the control center. Want to change the wallpaper or the screensaver? Just right click on the desktop. Probably the biggest advantage of using Linux is the freedom given to the user. The operating system is yours to do as you please. You can add or remove software, you can change desktop environments, you can even change from one Linux distribution to another. You have that freedom. Proprietary operating systems like Windows 11 are freedom restricting. You do not own your operating system when you run Windows. Microsoft owns it. They are merely allowing you to use it. So if you are currently on Windows 10 and are unsure where to go, maybe it's time to try out Linux.